ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಇಂದಿನ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೊಂದು ಹೊಸ ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪನೆಯನ್ನು ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ನಡೆಸಲಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಆ ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪನೆ ಹೆಸರೆ ಅರ್ಥಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಥವಾ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯರೇ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಕಳೆದ ಹಲವಾರು ದಿನಗಳಿಂದ ರಾಜ್ಯದಾದ್ಯಂತ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ತಮವಾಗಿ ಮಳೆ ಸುರಿತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೊರೋನಾದ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದಾಗಿ ಬೆಚ್ಚಗೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ಸೊ ಹೊರಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಜಿಟಿ ಜಿಟಿ ಜಿಟಿಯಾಗಿ ಮಳೆ ಸುರಿತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಮನೆಯೊಳಗೆ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸಹಜವಾಗಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಆಸೆಗಳು ಬಯಕೆಗಳು ಮೂಡ್ತವೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಅಂತಹದ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಬಯಕೆ ಇದೀಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂಡಿದೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ವ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಬಿಸಿ ಬಿಸಿ ಸಮೋಸಾಗಳನ್ನು ತಿನ್ನಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಬಯಕೆ ಸರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲೀಗ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಬಯಕೆ ಮೂಡಿದೆ ಆ ಬಯಕೆಯನ್ನು ಈಡೇರಿಸಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಅಮ್ಮನ ಹತ್ರ ಓಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅಮ್ಮನ ಹತ್ರ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ನನಗೆ ಸಮೋಸ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಡು ಅಂತ ಅಮ್ಮ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾಳೆ ಅವಳ ಹತ್ರ ಇರುವಂಥ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೈಗೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾಳೆ ಸರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲೀಗ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಇದೆ ಆ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇನೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನೀವು ಪೇಟೆ ಬದಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತೀರಿ ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಧರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಪೇಟೆ ಬದಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತೀರಿ ಪೇಟೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಅಂಗಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ಎರಡು ಸಮೋಸ ಕೊಡ್ತೇನೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಅದೇ ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟದ ಸಮೋಸ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಅಂಗಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ಮೂರು ಕೊಡ್ತೇನೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಯಾವ ಅಂಗಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ಮೂರು ಸಮೋಸ ಕೊಡ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೋ ನೀವು ಏನು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡದೆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಿ ಆ ಮೂರು ಸಮೋಸ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮನೆಗೆ ಬರ್ತೀರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಯಕೆಯನ್ನು ಈಡೇರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರಿ ಸರಿ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಸೀಮಿತವಾದಂತಹ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲವನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿಕೊಂಡು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಯಕೆಯನ್ನು ನೀವು ಈಡೇರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರಿ ಇದನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಅರ್ಥಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಕರೆಯೋದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದೇ ಪರಿಭಾಷೆಯನ್ನು ನಾನು ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷೆಗೆ ತಜುರ್ಮೆ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ದೇರ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರ್ಸ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ದೇರ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ in economics we study how we use this limited source to satisfy our unlimited wants okay now let's study about the origin of economics okay the word economics comes from greek word words two greek words they are oikos and nomos oikos and nomos which means household management managing a house with limited sources that is called as economics so this oikos and nomos oikos and nomos oikos and nomos became economics okay now you know about the origin of economics and there is a person called adam smith he is called as father of economics who is the father of economics adam smith is called as father of economics because he contributed so many uh, things to economics that's why he is called as father of economics okay according to adam smith the study of wealth is called as economics what is economics according to adam smith the study of wealth sampattanu adhyayana madude arthashastra ante helidane yaro adam smith so right now you are very familiar with the concept economics and the origin of economics and father of economics now we are going to study about the importance of economics there are so many things under this section but i will summarize them and give you give to you okay so importance of economics first one it is it recognizes the scarcity of resources economics recognize find out the scarcity of resources it it will tell us resources are limited you should not use them as your wish so you should use the resources limitedly okay so because they are uh, having scarcity you don't have so plenty of money 
or you don't have plenty of minerals you don't have plenty of fuels for example petroleum so resources are limited so economics recognizes the scarcity of resources second one it prioritizes the uses of resources prioritizes which one is important so prioritization so for example one thing is having so many uses but prioritization which one is important okay for example in your vehicle you have one uh, uh, one liter petrol so now prioritization so you can go to your friend's home and uh, come back the petrol will become empty one priority second priority you can go to the market and bring all the necessary goods and commodities to your home second priority which one is the main priority here second one is the main priority so prioritization okay so economics prioritizes the use of resources the next one is it understands socio economic problems of the country in our nation there are so many socio economic problems for for example caste system illiteracy unemployment corruption red tapism etc etc okay so by the study of economics we will come to know about the socio economic problems of our country and we will try to uh, find out the proper solution the next importance of economics is it suggests better policies and better ways to uh, better ways for development of our country by the study of economics we will find some uh, better policies we will find some better ways to uh, move towards uh, development by the help of uh, economics we can get some good policies and uh, better ways uh, to move towards development these are the importance of economics the next concept we are going to study is types of economics dear students there are two types of economics first type is microeconomics and second type is macroeconomics okay so what is microeconomics what is macroeconomics let's study them first one is microeconomics the word micro means small the word micro means small small economics it means microeconomics means uh, the economics which deals with the smallest uh, components of economy okay for example uh, individual a person okay where we study about a single person where we study about a single house where we study about a single firm firm means karkhane okay it will comes under microeconomics bidi bidi aagi ओके दुड अरण्य के कर्क हे इडी अरण्यव अध्ययन वे मरद बे अध्ययन वे मर नोड़ता बंद अब मैक्रो एकनमिक्स ओके द सैकेंड टाइप इस मैक्रो एकनमिक्स मैक्रो द वर्ड मैक्रो मीन लारज ओके हेन्स मैक्रो मैक्रो एकनमिक्स डील वि लारज कांपोनेंट आफ् एकनमिक्स लारज कांपोनेंट आफ् एकनमिक्स ओके सो फॉर् एक्सापल टैक्स कलेक्शन ओके और नाशनल इनकम हियर इंडिविजुअल इनकम सिंगल पर्सन इनकम हियर वि स्टडी अबउट होल नेशन इनकम ओके इनफ्लेशन वाट इस इनफ्लेशन हणदर द व्याल्यू आफ मनी okay so we discussed about we discuss about all those things under macro economics all right now let's discuss about economic activities there are four kinds of economic activities they are production consumption exchange and distribution once again there are four kinds of economic activities they are production consumption exchange distribution okay now let's study about these activities one by one so first of all production what is production production means producing goods and services okay goods like agriculture mining fishing services transport system educational service uh, insurance service banking service they are, they all comes under service sector so here producing various kinds of goods or services called as economic activity okay second type of economic activity is consumption what is consumption so many things are produced here goods and services are produced here 
in this activity we are using them okay act of using produced goods and services is called as consumption okay the next activity is exchange exchange means activity of marketing what kind of goods and services we have produced we must market them through proper uh, transport system we must find proper market which market is suitable for me and i must market my goods and services so third economic activity is exchange what is exchange exchange means none other than marketing fourth economic activity that is distribution so what is distribution distribution means allocation allocation means giving allocation giving of income allocation of income okay so distributing income for example we used land instead uh, instead of using land we must pay the rent for the owner okay we used laborers we must give them wages they this this activity is called as distribution the next very interesting topic we are going to discuss is basic economic problems dear students in basic economic problems there are three questions what to produce whom to produce what what to produce how to produce and whom to produce okay so what to produce means problem of choice now here choice what kind of production unit i must establish shall i produce agricultural product or shall i produce vehicles okay for example you are having one acre of land okay as i told earlier resources are limited you are having only one acre of land in that one acre of land shall i, shall I grow ragi or shall i grow tobacco okay so this is the question of choice what to produce shall i produce health uh, oriented products or shall i produce education oriented products shall i produce we uh, weapons or shall i produce vehicles okay so your sources are limited you have to decide what to produce the next uh, basic economic problem is how to produce now you decided what to produce now how to produce here problem of uh, technology okay which kind of technology you are using so you decided to produce tobacco okay you decided to for example again uh, you were having one acre of land in that land you decided to produce tobacco so what to produce you uh, came to know about that now how to produce so to grow tobacco should i use manpower or should i use machine power okay so here again problem of technology what kind of technology shall i use shall i use manpower or shall i use machines so this is the second problem basic economic problem how to produce okay if a country is having lots of manpower so many laborers are available in that country for example countries like india they can use manpower okay so when they are using manpower they are providing job opportunities to so many people okay if a country is using machine power it means there are less job opportunities but uh, there is uh, there must be huge investment also for uh, purchasing of all all those kinds of machines the next basic economic problem is whom to produce now you decided you decided to uh, produce one thing for example you decided to produce vehicle okay whom to produce shall i produce vehicles for middle class people or rich people okay if you are producing vehicle for middle class people the uh, amount of vehicle or the cost of vehicle should be minimum okay for example one scooty 50000 to 1 lakh if you are producing vehicles to richer people richer class people the uh, amount is more than 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh 5 lakh 10 lakh whatever may be so here whom to produce 
if your nation is having so much people who are comes under middle class then you can adopt this uh, this section to produce if you are country is having rich peoples enough then you can produce for them so whom to produce so basic economic problems dear students there are three kinds of basic economic problem what to produce how to produce and whom to produce okay so thus in this class we have studied about economics definition of economics importance of economics types of economics economic activities along with that we have discussed about basic economic problems i hope all of you understood the lesson very well if you have any kinds of doubt please text me okay we will meet in the next class till then take care bye bye